I'm here today to help you to restore your peace and to find some answer and magic through Akashic Records. This meditation is gonna bring you all the way to the library of your past, presence and future. I started learning meditation from the best teacher there, the ocean. Ocean at the sunrise, ocean at the sunset. I was there, seated on the beach, on the sand, and connecting to my breath, and connecting to my inner soul, with the ocean, with every wave, watching the sun setting or rising, depending on the side of the world where I was in. I'm really grateful to the ocean, my beautiful teacher, my safe place. I cannot see, I cannot wait to see you again in the summer. So to start this meditation, you need to be in very comfortable position. It's okay to lay down and there is big possibility that you're gonna fall asleep. If you prefer to sit, you are welcome to sit. But you need to be comfortable so you don't feel the edges of your body or any pains or stretches or tension or stiffness. So I will ask you to lay down on the comfy pillow and close your eyes. When your eyes are closed, try to connect to your breath. Try to connect to the breath with every wave. If you can hear the waves, you can imagine them. Please connect to them. Feel them in your body, how they are sweeping through all these problems, all the struggle, all the tension, from feet all the way to the head, and then from the head all the way to your feet, how they are going through every muscle, relaxing, Cleansing, clarifying, freeing. They are going through your heart. You feel those waves going slowly, releasing from your heart all the worry, all the pain all the struggle, all the stress, all the tension, everything is released, cleansed by the waves of the ocean. The ocean are going to your head as well, releasing all the thoughts, unwanted, unneeded, unnecessary. Now, you feel like these waves are embracing your whole body, 
It's like you're laying on the hammock, swinging gently. You feel your body swinging. If you are sitting, you can embrace your body and slowly swing with this oceans, waves. You can move really gently. If you can feel it, feel this like slight movement, feel the breath, feel connection to your heart and to your brain. Let's ground ourselves. Let's feel how our roots are growing from our feet all the way down through all the layers of the soil, through the grass, through the moist green layers, through the layers of the soil which are like full of living creatures, all the way to the rock, hard rock, but we are grounding our roots through the rock, through all the hot layers of the earth because they are strong they can go through the rock they won't, burn, they won't burn in this hot lava they're going all the way all the way to the core of the earth and connecting to the creation to the womb there when you are grounded, now is time to feel your heart opening. Maybe you can imagine this beautiful pink peonia. It's so colorful. It's open. It's flourishing, it's blooming. It has all these beautiful soft petals and the smell. This beautiful flower is right there where your heart is. It's opening there. Is opening petals by petals. One petal, two petals, three petals, four petals, five petals, six petals, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, and every petal is bringing you deeper and deeper inside your heart. You can see the colors more vividly, and you can see them bright and luminescent. This beautiful pink peonia is opening in your heart. And now you see, creating this connection all the way up to the universe. We see how the petals are lifting, one petal by the time, lifting up and going all the way to the universe. Then there is a second petal lifting up and going all the way to the universe. And the third petal vibrating, circling, swirling, going all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And more of them. We see petal by petal going up, up, 
up, all the way up, creating this connection, creating this pathway, creating the route, all the way to the Akashic Records, the library in the sky, this library of the consciousness that is in our heart as well, always connected, always aligned in energy of love and energy of our soul connection, peaceful with everything what was, everything what is and everything what they're gonna be there. We're going up there, up there, through the planes, through the quantum fields, lifting ourselves up, connecting our heart to the line of consciousness created by those beautiful, sparkling, glittering petals. We are all the way up there and we see there is this beautiful big building. It's old, looks ancient. We see big gates and at the gates there is an animal standing there waiting for us, waiting to show us the library. Before we enter, we need to have our question ready. This can be a question about our relationships. Why are we together in this lifetime? What can we learn? How can we understand our relationships, patterns? What were our past life contracts? We can ask about the career and finances, about abundance, soul purpose, our aligned work, as well like our past lives and the traumas that need to be resolved, about our talents and gifts, abilities, and the origin of our life. As well, what did you do in your past life? Were you a healer, a mystic, maybe artist, maybe mother? All these questions can be asked. We can ask about life challenges, spiritual path, or just generally, daily stuff, guidance connecting to our guides, connecting to our everyday life, where we should put the attention and focus, what are the next steps, are we ready to enter, when we are entering, we see this big beautiful hall, the light is twinkling, we see candles around, there's so many candles and so many books, our guide, the animal, is leading us to the special shelf where our book of life is placed. We are entering the hallway with ready questions, with ready questions to ask and find them in the book of life. The animal is leading us and is handling the book for us. When we open the book, we may see a sign or shapes, or animals, 
our words, our four sentences that are the answer to our question. We have a few moments to tune in, to sink in with the breath, with the heart fully open, embracing the petals leading us to this beautiful library. We can feel the warmth of the light and the candles and we are safe, protected by our guide. Let's sink in for a few moments and see the messages coming from this experience. If we receive the message, we need to go back and close the door behind us. We are going to say thank you to the animal who was our guide. And we are going back from where we came from. First through the hallway seeing other shelves and other books, seeing the lights, seeing the candles around us and warmth of the fire, all the way to the door. We are closing the door behind us and the guide will stay there. The guide will stay there to protect the door. Our animal guide We're going all the way down, petal by petal, one step, two steps, placing our feet on those petals, still spiraling in the air, pink beautiful petals, being so high in the clouds, going down all the way to our heart to our body, we're back, we're back with the answers, we're ready to embrace ourselves and thank us for this journey, thank us for this journey and thanks for the answers we got. Now it's time to connect back to our body and sit we at our journal and write or paint or draw whatever first comes to us. If we remember the shapes or the animals or the sentences, we can write them down right away. If we don't, And we can just sit with them. If we have seen our past lives, we can describe them. We can connect again whenever we feel like. Just through this simple meditation and just through connecting through the heart. We can also do it in the morning. Just in the morning before we start journaling, so that in our set, connect and journal or write or just draw or just sing in, tune in to our hearts for all the answers and all this intuitive, beautiful moments. Thank you.